In this video, we're going to be taking a look at setting up a Studio Master C2S 2 mixer for virtual fitness instruction, streaming, and video recording. So, the first thing we're going to do is plug in the power cord and the USB cable. Those go into the back of the mixer. Once the USB cable is connected, we're going to get the other end of the cable, which is a USB Type A and we're going to connect that into the computer. This can also be connected into an iOS or an Android device if you have the right adapters. Next, we're going to connect your wireless microphone receiver into the first channel on the mixer. Either connect it to this three pin jack, which is called XLR or into the quarter inch jack. If you have a three pin XLR connector, that's going to plug in just like this. Or, if you have a quarter inch connector, that's going to plug into the jack right below it, labeled line. Next, we're going to be connecting your music player. That can be an iPod, a phone, a laptop, something with a headphone jack. This is called a 3.5 millimeter, or an eighth inch, or sometimes a mini jack. That's going to connect into the headphone jack of your music playing device. The other end of the cable has two connectors on it, and those are quarter inch. We're going to plug those in to channel 3 slash 4. So there's one jack in 3, one jack in 4. Next, we're going to connect a cable to the aux send jack. Now that's going to be used to send signal out to speakers or a sound system in the room. That's going to be connected with a quarter inch connector. And you'll notice that there is a tip and a sleeve and only one black ring around it so it's called a tip sleeve quarter inch cable and that's very important so that goes into the aux send jack and the other end of the cable is going to be one of two things typically it'll be an rca pair the color coding is not important uh, the important thing is that your sound system or speaker has an rca input Now, if your sound system or speaker only has a 3.5 millimeter input, we'll go ahead and use that. The other end of the cable will still be the quarter inch from the aux send. So we're going to go ahead and connect that to your speaker. Now, this first row of knobs is only going to control the microphone because that's what's plugged in to channel one. It will not affect music in any way. Now, looking over at channel 3, 4, since we've got the music player plugged in there, this row of knobs will affect only the music. The red knobs across the bottom control the signal going out into your video stream or computer. The blue knobs affect the sound going through the aux send jack out into the speakers or sound system in the room. So we're going to start with the main mix knob and turn it up to the noon position. That affects the overall blend of the music and the voice going into your video or stream. So we're going to turn up the red knob about halfway on channel one. And then while talking into the microphone, slowly bring up the gain dial until you get a good level of voice into your computer or device. There will typically be a meter that you can watch to make sure that the level is good. Your music volume will be on the red level knob labeled 3-4. So you'll turn that up and check the level again of your music. That goes through the main mix knob, which controls the overall blend of the music level and the microphone level going into your video stream. Next, we're going to adjust the sound levels going to the speakers or sound system in the room. The blue aux send knob will control the overall volume of sound going to the speakers in the room, but does not affect the stream, only what's connected to the aux send jack. Now on channel one, we can leave this down because we don't want microphone going to the speakers in the room, but we want to turn up the aux send on three, four, because that will give us music into our speakers in the room. So just turn that up until you get a good level. Again, the red knobs affect 
the volume of sound going into your stream, while the blue knobs only affect music going to the speakers in the room for playback. To avoid feedback, we usually keep the aux send on the microphone channel turned down. But if you need to, you can go ahead and turn up aux send on channel one to get a little bit of microphone going into the speakers in the room. Too much of that could cause feedback. So we usually leave it all the way down and just have music playing back. Now you notice we haven't touched anything on row two or row four of knobs. That's because we don't have anything plugged into those channels on the mixer. So those two rows won't do anything in this setup. The headphone knob only affects what's coming out of the headphone jack and typically we won't be using that. These cream color knobs are equalizer knobs. There's a high and a low. So those just give you a little more treble or a little more bass as needed. When they're in the upright position or noon, they're not affecting the signal at all. They only affect the signal when they're above or below noon. 